Welcome to the QB Sales Data QuickBooks Link for Act video library. This video will cover taking Act opportunities and converting them to QuickBooks transactions. This is a great feature for companies that want their salespeople using Act to be able to enter in opportunities that can later be converted to QuickBooks transactions and very often those companies are re-entering those in the back office. So you can totally eliminate that double entry by using the QB Sales Data product. So let's talk about how that works. One of the key components with how it works in QB Sales Data is we actually take your QuickBooks item list and synchronize it to the ACT product list. So when you look at QuickBooks in your item list, you have all of your items. These will actually get imported into ACT into the product list section of the opportunity. And let's see how that works. So the first thing you do is go to a computer that has both ACT and QuickBooks on it and obviously has the QB Sales Data product. And then you go to Tools, QB Sales Data Import, and click on the Sync Items button. Note that when we bring over those QuickBooks items, we're actually going to clear out your product list first so that your ACT product list matches your QuickBooks item list exactly. I'll go ahead and say yes, and it'll tell you in the lower left here when the sync is complete. And now all of your QuickBooks items, so if we go to the Opportunities section, and I go to Opportunities and Manage Product List, this list actually matches your QuickBooks item list now. So we're set to move forward. Now that we have that in place, we can actually instruct our ACT users then to start creating opportunities in ACT. They can pull up the customer in QuickBook, uh, in ACT, excuse me, pull up the customer in ACT and click on the new opportunity option. And let's say we're going to be selling a server upgrade here to ABC Electric. So I will create the opportunity in ACT. I'll give it a name, server upgrade. I'll give it an estimated close date. and then I'll go to the product services tab on the opportunity and I'll add my line items. Basically what I'm doing is I'm adding the line items that are eventually going to be on the QuickBooks transaction whether it's an invoice or a sales order and so on. So I can either pick it by description which is the name field or I can pick it by item number. So let's say we're going to sell them a Dell server. I'm going to sell them one of those. Here's the suggested retail price or the price that came over from QuickBooks. If we want to override that, we can actually do that in ACT as well. So let's say I'm going to actually sell them the server for $2,000. If you want to override the price, you will put it in the adjusted price field. And then we also have a sort order, and this is the order that it will end up on in the QuickBooks transaction. Now note that I've customized my fields that I see on the screen here. The first time you come into this add product, you'll want to click on display fields and just choose the name, the item number, quantity price, adjusted price, subtotal, and sort order, right? You can eliminate these other fields because you're not going to need them. Once you have that in place, I can click OK and I've added my first line to the opportunity and eventually to the QuickBooks transaction. And let's add another one. I want to add some services, so I'll go here and pick consulting services and let's do 10 hours to install the server and I'm going to make that line item 2. Okay, I can even go so far as if my QuickBooks is set up to handle subtotals and discount percentages I can add those to the transaction as well. So in this case I'm going to add a subtotal. So I have the subtotal item in QuickBooks and it came over to ACT. I'll make that line 3 and the reason I do that is I actually want to give a 10% discount on the entire project as well. So now I'll click on add again and I'll pick my discount percentage item here and we're going to give them a 10% discount. Now note because the act pricing doesn't allow for percentages it actually says $10 here but when it converts it's going to convert over as a percentage. So now if I sort here, here are the line items. When we convert this opportunity to a transaction in QuickBooks, that's the order that the lines are going to appear in. So at this point, the salesperson can um, just sell this, work to sell it, and eventually it's going to be marked closed one, hopefully, right? So if they sell it, they can mark it closed one, and their job is done, and now your back office person again can take over. They're going to monitor the opportunity list in ACT 
and look for closed one orders. So if I go to the list view here, and we have some key fields that we add to the opportunity. The QB ID number, this is the actual ID number of the customer in QuickBooks. The transaction ID and the transaction type. When a transaction has been converted, you know, when an opportunity has been converted, it will get a transaction ID and a type, meaning what type it was converted to in QuickBooks. Notice this one hasn't been converted yet. So that tells my back office person, this is closed one, but it doesn't have an ID or a type, so that means it needs to be converted. I can either convert it from the list here. Notice I can convert it to an invoice, estimate, sales order, or sales receipt. Note I can actually convert multiple transactions from the list here to multiple transactions in QuickBooks, or I can choose to just double click on that opportunity and convert it right from here. So let's convert it to an invoice. It will write it to QuickBooks. Notice it wrote the QuickBooks transaction ID and the type here, and I have a chance to look at it in QuickBooks after converting it, so I can hit yes. And here's the transaction. So notice we got the server line with the adjusted price. Notice $2,000 versus $2,500. The services, the subtotal, and then the 10% discount on the entire transaction. If I need to, I can you know, put another message in here and hit save. And now that transaction exists in QuickBooks. When the nightly sync happens, that will actually appear, or I can hit refresh data from QB. And like we've seen from our other videos, that transaction will actually roll back then into ACT. And life is good. And the main point here, and to recap, is by using this feature, converting opportunities to QuickBooks transactions, what you do manually now, meaning take the order and retype it into QuickBooks, now that completely goes away because the salesperson can enter in the items, the item list, in ACT, and then when that gets sold, the back office person can convert it to a QuickBooks transaction. So that's a huge time savings for companies that want to push that ordering process out to their ACT users. That's the basics of the, how that feature works. We hope you enjoy our product. Have a great day.